Welcome back to Touched by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Uh, today I got a, a request to do a tutorial on how to make text grow or shrink, and I thought the best way to be doing something like this would be to uh, make in a kind of intro pop tutorial. Um, so kind of this effect that you're getting here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our uh, panel over here, uh, and I'm going to scroll down to uh, screen cast keys and turn those on so you guys can see what key presses I'm clicking. Uh, that is an add-on since Blender removed that uh, feature. Uh, I'll put that down in the description if you want to check that out. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is delete the camera, the uh, cube, and the light. Hit one of my numpads to go into the front-facing view, and we're going to add in our text, of course, right? So we're going to add in our text, and uh, hit R, X and 90 on our numpad and right click to confirm that selection um, now so uh, I'm gonna hit tab to tab into our edit so we can edit and so we can edit the uh, the text here and I'm gonna I'm just gonna type in uh, you know I'm just gonna leave it text <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it text so I'm gonna drag this panel open so we can see a little bit better what we're doing and I'm gonna hit this font tab up here so we can uh, change the font and do some stuff I'm gonna hit center on a horizontal alignment I'm going to hit uh, on our offset on the Y axis. I'm going to hit down three times. Well, uh, yeah, three times. So it should be negative 0.3. I'm going to choose a font here. I've chosen the font called Payback. I'll leave the link down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. Now, um, I picked this font because, as you can tell, it has a bit of a sliced edged edge edges edges through it so um uh, we're gonna extrude this with the extrude uh, uh little modify modification uh tab over here and i'm gonna just drag that up just to about right there you want to keep in mind the thickness of uh the length of the text should be somewhere around the thickness of uh the front of the text so like however thick this is should be however thick this is that's not a rule it's just it looks best usually when it looks like that so um, I'm going to go for something like that, and uh, I'm going to go back to our front-facing view, and I'm, I'm going to add in our camera, finally, and then drag that back to about right there. Um, and now we're going to get this look. All right, so uh, really what we're going to do need, we need to do now is, uh, there's a couple ways we can do this. If you mess with the offset over here, it'll get this really cool growing effect, but as you can tell, it really has this really weird kind of thing, especially if there's any weird vertices like there is with our text. So if I choose a different text real quick, a different font, just anything straightforward and simple like this, um, Archivo, Black, Ar Archivo, whatever. Um, if, I, if I mess with the offset here, you can tell I have to go to a certain point before it starts getting all messed up. But if I go back to the other text we had, the Payback text um, font, now this font... Like I said, the offset will it'd be messed up, so we're not going to use the offset to make this grow and shrink. We're going to use the actual scale uh, tool. So I'm going to I'm going to make our start frame zero. Uh, excuse me, a little bit a little bit of lag I'm getting. I'm actually rendering something else in Blender right now. Um, and so what we're going to do is I'm going to actually use the scale. So I'm going to hit S on our keyboard, and we can scale this up and down, which is really really cool. So the way to get this 100% uh, you know zero, we're not just going to scroll it down just like that and then right click. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit on our keyboard, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the first frame and hit I on our keyboard to insert a insert a uh, scaling keyframe on the first keyframe. Then we're gonna go to frame five, frame five. Hit I scaling. Now we both we've inserted two keyframes of the same scaling size. So if I hit S on my keyboard and scale this up to about right there, and then hit I scaling, you can tell that the text grows, right? Um, but we want it to grow a little bit more than that. So on the first keyframe, whatever keyframe that is for you, we're going to S and 0 on my numpad and right click and left click to confirm the selection. Sorry. And then hit I on our keyboard and scaling. You have to hit I and then scaling to confirm the scaling. Because if you go off of the uh, of that frame before you, before you lock in that keyframe, it will not save it. So um, make sure you hit the keyframe. And then, as you can tell, it'll grow into the, uh, the larger text that you're seeing there. Right? Looks pretty good. Once again, like I said, uh, don't mind the low frame rate uh, because I'm rendering something on some Blender right now. All right, so uh, now the way we can make this shrink is just the opposite of what we've just done. So if I go to a frame like, let's say, frame 40, eh, let's go 30, frame 30, and then hit, I hit I scaling, so then the scaling does not change from uh, frame 5 to frame 30 because if I hit scaling and hit 0 and then do that, from the fifth frame to the thirtieth frame, it'll just slowly, slowly get smaller. We don't need that. We need to do the same uh, scale and then uh, five frames later get smaller. So we're gonna go to thirty-five and then hit scaling and then we're hit zero. 
uh, S0 on a numpad and then I in scaling. So now it'll get smaller. So it gets bigger like this right here. Gets bigger, stays the same, goes smaller, right? That's nice. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my last frame, frame 35, by the way. My in frame 35. And it, we have now made text bigger and smaller, but we can make this a bit better by uh, rotating this when it comes up a little bit. So uh, I'm going to uh, go to the first frame and hit I rotation. And then go to the fifth frame, hit I. Oh, we're going to rotate it first, excuse me. So we're just going to rotate just something like that, right? Just something simple. And then hit I rotation. So now when, it, when the text comes up, it kind of rotates like that, right? Looks pretty good. I want this to move a little bit. Um, so we're going to go to 30, and then we're going to double tap R on our keyboard, and move it just slightly like that. So now we have this. Right? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And then we want it, I'm going to want it to rotate back out when it goes to 35. So on the frame 35, we're just going to double tap R, and then just move that to a random location. Doesn't really matter. And hit I, rotation. So now it'll go something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good, right? So I, I think I like the way that looks a lot. Um, we're gonna go to the world tab here and hit ambient occlusion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to cycles render, and uh, just because I like cycles render a bit better for motion blur purposes, and I'm gonna, of course, a few of the render settings I love to go over is of course uh, that on 100%. Of course, your output to your desktop, your videos, whatever, H.264. And then, uh, of course, boosting your sampling, depending on how grainy your image quality is. Motion blur, if you're going to use that. And uh, that is it, of course. If you're going to want to do a transparent uh, background, of course, you can hit transparent there. And then in encoding, you're going to select QuickTime, uh, FFMPEG, and then make sure this RGBA is ticked. That is going to be it for this tutorial. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video on how to make text grow and shrink. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you let me know down in the comment section what you want to see as the next tutorial on the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye.